So guys, this is One Handy Dude. Uh, we are doing a quick video to show you how to replace an oven igniter. Uh, a couple days ago, I went to go bake some cookies and the oven wouldn't turn on after we were all set and ready to go. Sucked, but it's okay. We used our little uh, bench top oven. So order the new igniter. You want to, you'll be able to find this by uh, looking up your model number of the stove and uh, using the internet. This is what it is. Uh, this is actually quite a widely used igniter. Um, it will come with two ceramic wire nuts and uh, the one that you find if it's original in your stove will probably have a connector on it. You just cut those, splice the wires together with using the wire nuts and uh, swap it out. Um, this particular stove is a Frigidaire. Uh, I do know for a fact that this is also used on LG stoves um, and like a multitude of other ones. It's a pretty common part. Uh, if yours doesn't look exactly like this, it might look similar. Um, you want to be careful when you take this out that you do not damage the igniting surface. It is brittle. Um, that's why there's a case around it. And then uh, we'll get right to it. So first we're going to get in here. I've already gone in and taken out the uh, racks and any other things that we had stored in there. Get all up in the oven. And there's going to be two screws, at least on this one, that are here and here. Let me go turn on the light and see if that will help. There we go. So much better. Now we can actually see. Um, some models you may need to actually end up backing the stove out and accessing the connector from the back. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. So there's two Phillips uh, flathead screws in here. Sometimes they're a bit of a pain to take out the first time. This screw came out pretty easily. I'm guessing someone's been in here at some point. Get those two out. This is basically gonna lift up and slide towards the back. And out. All right, so this is the, uh, the guts of the heating element. And the igniter is back there. I'm gonna go ahead and take off these two screws. Let me pop my head in there. And just to see where the connector is. Don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to break that glass. You don't need to take this off. This is the screw that holds the diffuser shield and just makes it easier to uh, access everything. That comes up and out. In this particular model, since I know that I am going to have to splice it in anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and Cut these wires. There we go. These two screws to that hold the burner and the igniter over there, one over here, one at the back. These are going to be quarter inch hex heads. Make sure you don't lose these screws. Of course, I just dropped mine. 
and this will just slide right out like that. All right, so we got the uh, burner assembly out. We're gonna take these two screws off. While I'm doing this, I will tell you, by the way, that this is one of the most common causes for oven failure. If your oven stops heating, or if it's taking a very long time to heat, more than likely, this is gonna be your issue. So we have the old igniter out. You can see that it's uh, it's been used quite a bit. Um, sometimes you'll actually see a physical break in the element. Uh, this one does not seem to have that. <laughs> if you look, it kind of looks like it's a smiley face with two eyes bulging out. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, we got the new igniter mounted on there, take the burner assembly, bring this back in. You want to make sure that this sits down on the gas outlet, which is right there. Hopefully you can see that. And then get it sort of lined up with your screw holes. go start the screw I like to do them by hand make sure I don't cross thread also while uh, off camera I did go ahead and strip the, the wires that I cut out earlier um, on the oven side and uh, after I get these screws in we will go ahead and tie those two together All right, so I got the burner assembly locked in with the two screws. You're gonna to wanna to take the two wires, one lead from the igniter, one from the oven. Twist those guys together. Take a ceramic wire knot. They're ceramic because they can withstand the heat. All right, so I got the wires twisted together. Throw the wire nuts on. Get them nice and snug. There's one. So uh, we got the wire in nuts on there. They are stuck. You want to make sure that they're sitting far to the back so they don't impede with one movement of the drawer and uh, that they're generally out of the way. I like to keep them pointed up like that so uh, you know any sort of crud or anything can't fall into the connection. Now we're gonna get this buttoned up and uh, we'll go ahead and test it. I'll see you guys in a second. Well got everything buttoned up in the oven over there. I uh, got the plate and the cover back in, through, through the two screws down, and we're more or less ready to test this out. So what you're going to do is set your oven to start, and uh, you can pull this bottom tray out to make it easier to see. I'm going to take it and I'm going to show you essentially what you're looking for. So down here, you can see your igniter over there. I'm gonna turn off the light so that way you can see it glowing. It's glowing. It's gonna take a couple seconds, maybe 10 seconds or so before it detects that there's heat and it will start to release gas out of the burners that are right up this way. There you go. And we have ignition. So uh, we got the oven up and running again awesome um, one thing that I will tell you is sometimes when if your oven takes a long time to preheat this will act, this may actually be the cause of it it might still run but uh, it will not run as effectively and uh, you know you may want to replace the igniter if you're having issues with that um, as always guys appreciate checking out the video hope I answered all your questions and that was helpful if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the, down below. And uh, if you like the content I'm providing, then uh, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed the video. Um, see you guys later.